Well, that's the problem. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. Legendary physicist Michio Kaku just shared a shocking discovery made by the James Webb Space Telescope. The James Webb has detected what appear to be six ancient galaxies, which contain almost as many stars as the Milky Way, despite forming only 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. They are so massive that they shouldn't exist, because if they're real, the discovery calls our entire understanding of galaxy formation into question. This means that it could pretty much rewrite a whole bunch of astrophysics textbooks. All of a sudden we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. Now, it takes many billions of years to create a galaxy like the Milky Way galaxy with 100 billion stars, many billions of years old. But the James Webb Telescope has identified six galaxies that exist half a billion years after the Big Bang that are up to 10 times bigger than the Milky Way galaxy. You just don't expect the early universe to be able to organize itself that quickly. These galaxies should not have had time to form. It's bananas! Co-author Erica Nelson, an assistant professor of astrophysics at the University of Colorado Boulder, and one of the researchers who made the discovery said in a statement, While scientists don't know exactly when the first clumps of stars began to merge into the beginnings of the galaxies we see today, cosmologists previously estimated that the process began slowly taking shape within the first few hundred million years after the Big Bang. Currently accepted theory suggests that one to two billion years into the universe's life, these early proto-galaxies reached adolescence, forming into dwarf galaxies that began devouring each other to grow into ones like our own. Because light travels at a fixed speed through the vacuum of space, the deeper we look into the universe, the more remote light we intercept and the further back in time we see. By using the James Webb Space Telescope to peer roughly 13.5 billion years into the past, astronauts found that enormous galaxies had already burst into life very quickly after the Big Bang when the universe was just 3% of its current age. The researchers say the galaxies are so massive they are in tension with 99% of the models for cosmology. This means that either the models need to be altered or the scientific understanding of galaxy formation requires a fundamental rethink. The Milky Way forms about one to two new stars every year, Nelson said. Some of these galaxies would have to be forming hundreds of new stars a year for the entire history of the universe. If even one of these galaxies is real, it will push against the limits of our understanding of cosmology. Right now, all evidence points to these celestial objects being galaxies, but astronomers haven't ruled out that some of them could be enormous quasars or supermassive black holes. This is our first glimpse back this far, so it's important that we keep an open mind about what we're seeing. Co-author Joel Lasia, an assistant professor of astronomy and astrophysics at the Pennsylvania State University said in a statement, While the data indicates they are likely galaxies, I think there is a real possibility that a few of these objects turn out to be obscured supermassive black holes. Regardless, the amount of mass we discovered means that the known mass in stars at this period of our universe is up to a hundred times greater than we had previously thought. Even if we cut the sample in half, this is still an astounding change. Previous imaging of the early universe by the Hubble Space Telescope didn't detect the giant galaxies, but JWST is about a hundred times more powerful than Hubble. The Space Observatory was designed to read the earliest chapters of the universe's history in its faintest glimmers of light, which have been stretched to infrared frequencies from billions of years of travel across the expanding fabric of space-time. In the end, JWST is really just proving that the $10 billion price tag was indeed worth it. In fact, last August, a sequence of videos compares the views of the spectacular Phantom Galaxy captured by the JWST and its predecessor, Hubble. While the 32-year-old Hubble Space Telescope captures the universe mostly in the visible light spectrum, revealing the distribution of stars in the galaxy, 
Webb focuses on the infrared spectrum, spotting heat-emitting gas and dust that accumulates in the galaxy's spiral arms. M74, some 32 million light-years away from Earth and located in the constellation Pisces, is known for its well-defined spiral shape with prominent arms emanating from its center. When combined, observations by the two great space telescopes provide a comprehensive view of the galaxy, including regions in which stars form that can be seen as reddish bubbles scattered across the spiral arms. These so-called H2 regions are clouds of hydrogen gas that glow in the ultraviolet light with hot young stars embedded in them. Webb's view also reveals the dense cluster of stars at the heart of this galaxy, seen in blue colors. Webb's observations were conducted using the telescope's mid-infrared instrument, or MIRI, as part of a campaign charting 19 star-forming galaxies in this region of the universe. The addition of crystal-clear Webb observations at longer wavelengths will allow astronomers to pinpoint star-forming regions in the galaxies, accurately measure the masses and ages of star clusters, and gain insights into the nature of the small grains of dust drifting in interstellar space, the European Space Agency said. And finally, definitely not to be missed, the breathtaking look inside the pillars of creation. The image is not only stunningly beautiful, but also reveals cosmic processes never before observed with such clarity. With this picture, you can zoom into the darkest regions at the tops of the pillars, zooming in a little more, and you can see red dots springing into view. These are dozens of them. The smaller ones are just plain red dots, others are somewhat larger resembling flowers, with yellow centers surrounded by six red petals and sometimes with Webb's trademark snowflake-like refraction patterns. These floral formations are newborn stars, some of them only a few hundred thousand years old, the creation inside the pillars of creation revealed for the first time. For Webb's predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, which observes the universe mostly in visible light, which is wavelengths that the human eye can see, these pillars were impenetrable, menacing dark formations rising from the Eagle Nebula, a cloudy cluster of stars in the constellation Serpens less than 6,000 light years away from Earth. But Webb, with its infrared heat-detecting gaze, peered through the darkness to reveal how light in the universe is being born. The most interesting thing about this image is that it's actually showing us star formation in progress. Anton Kokomor, a research astronomer at the Space Telescope Science Institute, shared, The red dots visible in Webb's images are protostars, cocoons of dust and gas so dense that they are collapsing together under the weight of their own gravity. As the clouds collapse, they form rotating balls, which will eventually become so dense that the hydrogen atoms in their cores will begin to fuse together in the process of nuclear fusion, which makes stars shine. Astronomers know that the pillars are not a stable cosmic sculpture, but rather a constantly changing flow of material similar to the constantly changing surface of a sandy beach. What shapes the pillars are powerful stellar winds emanating from a cluster of large stars, which is not visible in this image. Strong cosmic magnetic fields hold the clouds together, protecting them from being dispersed by the stellar winds. Still, within several million years, the pillars will no longer resemble the iconic images that we see today. But for Webb, the pillars are still just the beginning, providing only a glimpse of what the $10 billion telescope can accomplish. And that's it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoy what my team and I are doing, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. Otherwise, as always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and my team and I will see you next time.